Right, tell you their champs. Now let's see what Alienware had to offer at CES. And yeah, let's get straight into it. First, the Aura Gaming. Aurora. Aura. I think it's Aurora. I just reviewed this thing and now you can get it with AMD CPU. So AMD 5000 CPUs, the latest NVIDIA 3000 and 128 gigabytes of HyperX memory, super fast memory. So check out my review on this. All the latest stuff now. You can get an Intel version as well. So Wolf. If you just want no-nonsense gaming, this is the one for you. And pair it up with that Alienware 360Hz monitor, and wow, it is just amazing. And I actually have a 27-inch 1440p 240Hz Alienware monitor, which I bought with my own money because these Alienware monitors are just amazing. And that thing, stay tuned for that review because it's 100% P3, and it's good for content creation as well. So what else do we have from Alienware? I think you know what an Alienware 15 and 17 looks like. So, you know, you can look for the pictures here but we want to know about the specs right so let's get straight into the specs anywhere 15 and 17 we'll start with the 15 the most popular here are the specs the Alienware 15 R4. And as you can see, Intel CPU, 10th generation, because they don't have an 11th generation with these 45 watt parts yet. That's coming later in the year. But if you watch my video on AMD's mobile processors, what did I say? One of the big problems is, will they get them in the top tier gaming laptops or the top premium laptops? And as you can see here, no AMD, right? So I think that's still gonna be an issue with AMD. It is what it is. If I've got a hunch, I reckon Intel looks saying, hey, we'll give you a big discount on CPUs if you keep using ours. And maybe there's some collusion there. Hey, allegedly, maybe. I don't know. I'm not saying anything. But anyway, Intel 10th generation CPUs, we know what they are. And pretty much these are exactly the same as the last revision, except, of course, for graphics, next generation NVIDIA graphics, which we know, which have come out roughly 30% faster, depending on what model it is, 3060, 3070. 3080 max q it's going to make a big difference at higher resolutions we do have an ultra hd hdr 500 display so you can imagine if you get the latest 3000 series nvidia gpu you can play like cyberpunk on this 4k wolf that's what you want right because high refresh and frame rates don't matter on that you also have a 300 hertz 1080p no 1440p but other than that that's basically the same as last model with just new gpus and new display options there this Alienware is actually really good, so you might want to check out my review of the last model. Now, there is an 86 watt hour battery here too. So that was one of my criticisms of the last Alienware, that, you know, the battery life wasn't good on the one I had. Now, with this 86 watt hour battery, you're going to get good battery life, right? And they are great all-round laptops, these Alienwares. Now, let's look at the 17 inch, and it's more of the same things. Intel 10th generation CPUs new nvidia graphics the latest generation but let's have a look at the displays here and we have 360 hertz if you go to 17 inch here so you can get a 360 hertz and a 500 and 100 rgb ultra hd display that's the good thing about these alienwares they're good all-round laptops you can use them for content creation and you can use them for hardcore gaming and with that 86 watt hour battery the battery life should be good so you know it's a mobile workstation and mobile gaming laptop so that's what we have from Alienware. And make sure you subscribe for more CES coverage. 